Hello everyone, this video is about how to get started recording and editing videos. First, we will download OBS Studio, it's a free recording software and the URL for the download is right here and the link in the description below the YouTube video. Second, we'll do the initial setup of OBS. We'll specify the output directory and create the display capture. Third, we'll download HitFilm Express, it's a free editing software and the URL for the download is right here and the link in the description below the video. Fourth, we'll do the initial setup of HitFilm by saving the project and setting up the workspace. Finally, we'll do a basic example by creating a screen recording, editing that recording, and producing the final output video. For any questions, feel free to contact me at datascientist.email at gmail.com. So now, let's get started. When you click on the URL of the OBS Studio download, here is the web page it gets us to. And to install the software, you need to download the installer by clicking on that button. And when you open the installer, that's the UI that you get. You need to press next, next, basic installation. And once you're done, you're going to be able to open the software. So the first time you open OBS software, here is the screen that you're going to get. So first, we need to go to File, Settings, Output. In Recording, we need to specify the recording path by browsing to the directory that we want it to be. So for me, it's going to be Videos, Select. OK, that's it. So now the second element is to set up the source. So here, right click, add, display capture, create new display capture, OK. And we need to specify the display. Press OK, and that's it. We're done. We're ready to, to start recording. And here is the button that we need to press in order to start recording. So that's it for this part. And we're ready to move on. The next step is to download HitFilm Express. For that, we're going to click on the link and it brings us to that web page. Here, we need to click on Get HitFilm Express Free button. So we click on it. We get the Create Account. We need to create the account. So for me, it's Data Scientist. Email Data Scientist. Email at gmail.com. Password. Country, age, no subscription, terms and conditions. When I go to my emails, here I get the email from FX Home. Download your HitFilm Express installer. So you just click on it. Download for Windows in my case. And then once the installer is downloaded, we just follow the steps. Basic installation is enough. So then we click on it. We run and we follow the instructions for the installation. Once we're done with the HitFilm Express installation, we finished the third element of our list and we can move on to the initial setup of HitFilm. So when we open the software for the first time, here is the window that we get. And us, we're going to go to new. So it's a new project. Here we can choose the template. For me, it's 180 full HD at 50 frames per second. So it's a basic setup. And then we need to do start editing. For now, our project is untitled and unsaved. So we can go click on that button and save the project by naming it uh, my video project. Save. So then everything we do here is going to be saved and we can reopen it. That's the first thing. Second is when you work with editing, for example, sometimes you need to make the container float. You see? So, and then when you bring it back, it's a little difficult. It gets like put in somewhere else and you want to go back to the original layout. So you click here and all panels layout for me. So all panels layout. Okay, now that we are done with the fourth element, which is the initial setup of HitFilm, we can move on to the basic example. So now we're going to make a screen recording. We're going to edit it and finally we'll produce the video. So let's start. First of all, screen recording. So we start the recording. Mic check one, two, one, two. We're recording the screen. So now we finish the recording and we know that the recordings will appear in videos. So here in videos, I have all my recordings. The one that the latest one, we can uh, sort them by date. So the latest one is this one is the one that we did together, eight seconds. And our project is here, the video project. So let's open the video project. Ah, we already have the project opened. So here, open. Save. We'll save the previous project. Let's open the new one. It's in my videos. Okay. It's opening the project. Now that the project is open, we need to import files. 
So we'll import our last details here. The last created file is this one. So it appears in that list here. All the files that we import, all the videos, photos, audio files are going to be in that list if we import them. Then we drag our video to the editor here. So here we can do play. We start the recording, the size at 50 for the review, and we can even make the container flow. But so mic check one, two, one, two. We're recording the screen that we just did. So here is we can zoom and see in more details what's going on. So for example, if we decide to cut here, so, now, so we can right click and slice the video. So it's going to give us two different pieces. So we can come here again, slice it again. And that part we can remove, for example. You see, we remove that part. But instead of just removing, we can also ripple delete object. So this is going to bring the other object sticked to the previous one. It's a continuation. So here, see now, continuation, but the whole video is that one. You can zoom out. This is our video. And we can even add effects. So for example, transition effects. Here, let's say a video transition effect. Let's say zoom. So it's going to zoom. So you can drag it here. And we're going to see a zoom. So now zoom in, zoom out, but we finished. We can make it even longer. So two, we're recording the screen. So now you see we finished zoom effect. So once we're done editing, what we can do is export and contents. So this is the task. Here, output, you can click on the directory and give it a where to output the result, the resulting video. So we're going to call it my video output. That's it. Once we've specified the output location, we can just start exporting. And at the end here, we can see in the directory, my video output. It's the file that we are creating right now. And once it's done, we're going to have our video. We can also specify the format. Finished. So that's it. We remove finished. And now if we go to our folder location, the output location, we have my video output, the file that we created. And if we double click, it runs. We start the recording. Mic check one, two, one, two. We're recording the screen.